When does it go from expression to art to something destructive? The art of destroying other people's property. I think it's lovely. What happens with tags is they put it on people's buildings that are owned by other people. Graffiti is, uh, you know, definitely adds to urban blight. It's, uh, it's terrible. It makes a neighborhood look, uh, you know, uh, abandoned. It's not easy to see the paintings now, and it's definitely a deterrent. No, 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 like it. Maybe my my customers, I know I like it is. You know, I'd probably, you know, I'd be mad and, you know, I, if someone did that to my stuff, of course I would. But I don't care. <laughs> it makes no difference to me why they're, you know, why they're shipping. I have to replace the glass and it's incredibly expensive to do that. Edison on windows, I think it's fun. We can no longer, longer afford to deal, deal with the damage. You know what it would take to replace those windows on a regular basis. La me afecta al negocio porque a la gente no le gusta esto. The business isn't as as nice as I would like it to be because that's on my front door. The world is an open canvas. People have been doing it for thousands and millions of years, and it's never going to stop. It's just addicting. It's just a way of life. When someone wants to express themselves, some people kill people, some people steal cars, some people spray paintings, some people write things. Well, it's like freedom of speech. Like, I, I don't think there is a line because you know, just as people are allowed to say anything they want to, they should be allowed to, you know, write anything they they would like to also. Well, I have personal boundaries. Just like, I don't hit up on houses. Um, definitely don't hit up on cars unless it's a big van or something, something along those lines, but not a minivan. Because, I mean, it's personal property. It's a whole other level because they've never really been involved. And, you know, because graffiti has always been about a system, you know, like destroying the system is what graffiti has started out as. So what does somebody's house have to do with the system? What does some innocent person's house or what does somebody's car have to do with the system? The main rule is like pretty much you can do whatever you want as long as you can't tag on people's houses. Basically, no cars, don't tag on cars, you know, like, you know what I'm saying, Mercedes or something, unless you got drama with them. <laughs> Um, no churches. If it's public, free game. Free game. And if it's not public? If it's private, uh, no, I don't agree with it. I think you'd have to draw the line, you know, draw the line there. Everything you could write on. It's just as far as how you want to take it and what are the, you know, circumstances and are you ready for the repercussions when they come because they will come. Every time I got arrested, I said I was going to stop just because I was just petrified at the time, though, at the time. When I was in the station, sweating bullets because I, I don't know what they're going to have to do to me, take me to jail. They are alternative programs to jail that a first-time offender might get. Uh, you know, you might go out and uh, paint out graffiti. And, I mean, it was, it was all right. Basically, community service is not for everyone. You're either going to feel it or you're not. Mostly, it's like a big... Like get together full of graffiti writers and it just makes you want to do it a lot more because you're out, you know, painting over it. You just see a bunch of stuff and, I, you know what I'm saying? It's not a rehab at all. If anything, it's a motivator. I think community service in some areas, um, you know, maybe in some after school programs, that that's the way to do it. I never want to see anybody in jail. I if you get caught, you go to jail for like 20 years because they did so much damage. But they still keep going out. It's you know, it's, it's nothing. It's like a big hobby. It's just like a hobby. It's all like I said. It's just a game. 
Over the last years, I think we're spending an average of anywhere from 15 to 20 million dollars a year. You know, our city could use more trees, our city could use more art in the gardens, we could use more flowers. I think there's a lot of other areas uh, that we could use these dollars. You know, we could help address some of the housing problems, some of the homeless problems, and now we have this other problem that's getting out of control that's really unnecessary. I think the schools really are a big part they need more money, you know what I'm saying? And like graffiti is not something that needs to be all important the way it is, the way they have it now. I think it's pretty stupid. A lot of people are getting deprived, you know what I'm saying? If they had a space, I think if kids had a space where they could, if that's what that is, a throw up, and they could have their own tag, and it's in a place that was designated for that, I'm guessing that would meet a lot of kids' needs for being able to express themselves. You know, the major difference for us, is this permitted or not permitted? You know, if you are going to put up a nice piece of public art, I mean, I believe in art, I come from an art background. I think, you know, you, know, you design your art and you can go and you can, you know, get permission and put it somewhere. For example, there's one place in Miami, it's, it's a big wall. It's like the size of this wall and it's like up to the here in height and you can just go there without worrying. You have permission, they don't care. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, like they give you like materials, like letters and stuff. Yeah, like you can bring your own things. Cops can be rolling by, nothing happens to you because it, it's a free wall. If it was legal, oh yeah, I'm gonna do it legal or illegal. One way or another, I'm just gonna do it. If it was legal, I would go at any time of the day, it's just anywhere. Some countries is um, legal, but you, you have to get like a permit and shit. Graffiti pretty much is legal if you have a permit from the owner or permission from the owner. So if we could get somewhere where it was legal and we could have as much time as we wanted, every graph writer could succeed and be the best that they can. It would make me quit. Nothing really. Nothing nah. would make me quit.